Right, Goran, can you tell us how you ended up here in Gombak? Uh, well, I was playing in Bonnery White Eagles back in the State League. And in who? Uh, Bonnery White Eagles. Oh, Bonnery, right. Yeah, the club, they were, uh, back in New South Wales State League. And uh, I got recommended by Milan Blagojevic. He actually, uh, old international, Australian international. He gave me a call and he said, was I interested in coming over to Singapore for a trial? He right. said uh, one of his mates was coaching here in Darren Stewart in a club called Gombeck United. Uh -huh. And yeah, that's how I just came over a couple of days. I uh, you know, had a trial just with the boys, a training session. Then I had to pass the beep test and all these fitness stuff. And yeah, that's how I got the gig here in Singapore. So you're pretty fit? Yeah, that's it, probably. So this is your second year here, yeah? Second season, yeah. Um, all right, last year you had a pretty good team, didn't you? You come close to... We well, finished third, yeah. We were three points off the second place. And it wasn't too bad. I mean, last year, I think we surprised ourselves and everyone, like how good we went. But I mean, we Darren worked very hard with us during the season, and you know we believed in ourselves and yeah. you know in him, and yeah, we had a pretty good season last year. You went, you went, you you went a long time without um, losing a game, didn't you? You don't get that in SPS. <laughs> you went a long time without losing. A game. We had a pretty good unbeaten run, didn't you, last year? Yeah, I think it was about the first ten games of the of the league. We weren't we were undefeated, and you know I think we had a draw or two draws, and yeah, we were working very hard, and I think everyone got surprised, you know, how hard we were working together. But like I said, we we had a good preseason. Um, Darren put us, you know, for our paces, and we were really really fit, and you know we believed in each other, and yeah. Right, you give me all the cliches here, aren't you? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, so second season then, you must be quite happy in your first season to stay on for another season and not think about returning back to Australia? Yeah, actually the first season, I mean, you know, it's, it's not easy, you know, coming to a different country and that, but Singapore's very similar to back home. Um, you know, the culture is, is a bit different, but I mean, when you go down to Orchard Road, it's, it's very, very similar to back home. You've got everything, you know, the food, the, the people, the shopping centres and everything, so, you know, it wasn't hard to adjust. But um, yeah, I was very happy that the club um, offered me a second contract and they were happy with me. And yeah, of course, I jumped at the you know, opportunity of extending my contract. How about when you compare the State League with, with the S League, what you have here? I mean, the State League, of course, is like an, an unofficial second tier in Australia. Right? Um, yeah, that's right. But um, quality wise, it's probably, you know, it's, it's around the same. But I mean, of course, here they're going to be a lot fitter because it is professional. You know, you're in training every day, twice a day, and everything. I mean, but the quality is pretty good here as well, you know, people don't see it back home until they come over here. You know, you've got the, these players that like, you know, last year we had a few like Thai internationals here and, you know, most of the Singaporean national team players are all playing here, you know, a couple that just went out to Indonesia, so the quality is pretty good. Right. Um, what about the crowds? I mean, what, what, Bonnie Rig White Eagles, is that, is that in the western suburbs of Sydney? Yeah, western suburbs. What yeah. sort of crowds were you getting with them? Oh, I mean, surprisingly, we were getting good crowds, mate. we were getting about two, two and a half thousand, you know, which yeah. is probably about the same as here, you know. But I mean, that's a different culture and everything, you know, like back home in the state leagues, most of the clubs are like ethnic orientated, you know, yeah. you've got the Sydney Olympic Greeks and Marconi Italians, so, you know, they, they kind of support their own. So yeah, here is a bit you know a bit different. You know, people are always working, and it's it's a faster lifestyle here. You know, people don't have much time. Yeah. So, yeah. so you signed up for another year. Um, now you've had a bit of a bit of an upset this season, didn't you? Because you got you lost two key players. Yes. Um, after the season you already started, so. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was a big loss for us. I mean, they they brought a lot to the club, and you know, last year they like uh, uh, he was our leading goal scorer, uh, Jimmy. Yeah. And I mean, but we've got two new Korean players in the team now, so we're changing up the game now. We're trying to play a more instead of a direct game with OJ we played. Now we're trying to play more of a passing game, moving. So you know, it's kind of now you know we're starting all over again. But I mean, we enjoy it. You know, the boys are the, the two new boys that are coming are top blokes. So yeah, it's yeah, it's not too bad. Any problems with the language of them? Oh, one of them says is learning English. The other ones are right, but my football is one language, you know. So that's it. <laughs> yeah, let's blame the ref. That's it. That's true. <laughs> Uh, one last question for you. Last year we had a couple of other Australians here, um, Brian Soane and Jamie Pitt. Jamie, 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 yeah. Jamie Pitt. Um, do you do you see that you know it's a good opportunity for young Australian lads like yourself to come out of the state league and maybe oh for sure a higher profile for sure. I mean, I mean it, I, the way I saw it was as a stepping stone to somewhere. You know, I mean, because at back home you're just waiting for something to happen. Like you're playing in the Premier League and there's a lot of quality players in the Premier League. You know, and we're all hoping to get a you know 
I guess scouted for the A League and that, but it's not easy yeah. back home because there's a few clubs and it's all you know still trying to get up there and all that with the league. So I mean, when this opportunity came, I think it was good because you know you come here where you're playing professionally, you're training every day, twice a day. It's a good good experience. I mean, it's something different. You know, you're playing overseas, so most of the players want to play overseas. It doesn't matter where you are, you know. Right. So, so you, in, in a couple of your mates running out said, "Hey, Goza, or yeah. Gori, or whatever That's they call it." it. <laughs> uh, you know, do you recommend it, Singapore? Is oh, it worth it? for sure, for sure, I would re recommend it. Like I said, I mean, every beginning's hard, but I mean, no one, no, nobody promises life's going to be easy, you know. So, yeah. but I mean, for sure, I'd recommend Singapore, mate. It's like I said, similar to back home, you know. But the quality as well. You're, you're training every day. I mean, what, 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 what more can you ask for? You know, you know playing professional. But then imagine football. Sydney, Sydney come back for you and say, hey, do you want to come back and uh, play for us in the A League? Oh, I mean, hopefully that would happen, you know, you never know. I mean, of course that would be a, that, you know, like a dream come true, you know, everyone yeah. wants to play for their own Sydney, for their own town and stuff, so if that happened, man, you know, for sure you'd jump at the opportunity. But for now, everything. Oh, for sure, I'm happy now, you know, you know, just take it, you know, time by time, hopefully stay injury free and, yeah, 